Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 56. Today we're going to take a look at Less in PHP Storm. Now I've done a few screencasts on Less already and I've shown you how to use CodeKit in those. Today we're going to take a, say a quick look at how we're setting it up in PHP Storm. So my project is, we look over at our panel to start with, I have two style sheets, admin style.css and front end styles.css. Those should be fairly self-explanatory. Front-end is for the front-end actions of the site, uh, or the front-end interface, and the admin is for the WordPress admin. This is uh, some work I did for the Pods plugin, um, which in Pods allows you to add and remove uh, taxonomies and post types and custom meta uh, with a whole admin interface. So I have my two sheets. You can see here I have admin styles. It imports three or four different things and then has one small override and the front end styles and imports again some of the same sheets and then it uh, has a longer set of overrides for themes uh, for overriding uh, some of the stuff that we want to show in our themes now if we actually take a look at our less folder though you see i have a bunch of files in here i have mix-ins i have stuff for mp6 to make sure that i'm overriding mp6 properly um, but I don't want all of those compiled into separate files. This is actually something I missed for a long time in PHP Storm. So PHP Storm has file watchers, and by hitting command comma, we get right into our admin menu. Now I already have file watchers set up, or else it actually puts a kind of a warning across the top of your site or top of your file, telling you that it can add a watcher. And in our watchers, you can see here that we have a bunch of different options. The one that I missed for a long time was track root files only. So with this unchecked, I'm hit OK, apply, and OK, and let's update our repeating fields, and we'll just comma. And you can see I have repeating fields.css now. But that's not really what I want, right? What I want is just my admin and my front end styles. So let's kill my warning here open back up and edit less and then go back to track root files okay and we can take that back out and then we'll delete this one and then there's refactor and safe delete safe delete means it's actually scanning all of my files to make sure that I'm not referencing it anywhere else that it needs to. It didn't get picked up there because when I'm referencing it, I am referencing repeating fields without the dot less extension, so it didn't actually pick it up. So that's it. If you only want to track root files uh, with PHP Storm to compile for less, all you have to do is go into with command comma, go into your file watchers, choose less, edit it, and then make sure you track only root files. Thanks for watching.